These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS3 modding tutorial today. And basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to host the PS3 exploit version 2.0 tool locally on your LAN or your local Wi-Fi network. This is awesome because it is more robust and less likely that your console will freeze during the process. As a recap for my PS3 exploit original video, this works for Slim Models 25XX manufactured December 2010 and earlier, and all fab PS3s. So let's do this. In the video description, I have a link to where you can get the official version of this NAN Rider release. Basically, this is what it looks like with all the files. Uh, in addition to this, you need another program called MiniWeb. It's a free tool that allows you to host a web server. So basically what you do in a nutshell is you ha you get the files from the NAN release, you make a folder called htdocs, you dump all those files in there, and then you get the mini web tool and just dump it right here like this. To save you some keystrokes, I will have a local copy uh, of my files here zipped and uploaded, so you can go ahead and use my copy if you wish to save you some time, or you could do it the old school route and do all this stuff yourself. The choice is up to you. Okay, another thing you wanna do is we gotta set up our USB thumb drive. So in the htdocs or an official zip file there's a file called flash underscore 42 dot hex go ahead right click copy that and then what you want to do is insert a usb thumb drive so let me do that right now and this thumb drive make sure you go to properties and make sure it's format as fat 32 so make sure you do that once that's done go ahead and paste that into the root of your thumb drive in addition you're going to need a custom firmware so i have a special firmware that i found a while back that allows you to install rebug from uh, official 482 to 481.2 uh, rebug uh, kex and then from there you can convert it to dex or if you want to you can install rebug 482 uh, kex uh, light straight up if you wish so basically you have a ps3 folder update folder and ps3 update.pub um, you want to make sure that your ps3 is already updated to 4.82 official firmware so if you have not done that already Go ahead and do that right now. Once you're done, then you can follow with the rest of this, of this tutorial. So, recap, you got the USB thumb drive, you have this file, you have your custom firmware file right here, you're good to go, thumb drive is good. Eject the thumb drive, and then plug that thumb drive into the right most port of your PS3. So I'm gonna do that right now before I forget. Okay, so I got that set up, and then next thing is go ahead, run that mini web tool and note this IP address, right? So hypothetically, if I do this on my computer to just to make sure it works, let's go ahead and type that in. And we have this web page that comes up and I'm doing a, a slim today, 2101A. I know it's a NOR, so I will go to this NOR.HTML page. Um, for your particular PS3, you gotta make sure it's a NOR or a NAN. If it's 25XX Slim, manufactured 2010 or lower, it's a NOR. If it's a fat PS3, it might be a NOR, it might be a NAN, look it up and go ahead and make sure you go to the correct page. I don't want you guys to brick your PS3, so make sure NOR goes to NOR, NAN goes to NAN. Do not mix those guys. So for my particular unit, it's gonna be index underscore NOR.html. I click on that, it says, hey, you're not a PlayStation system. All features have been disabled. But if I do this on my real PS3, it's going to be a lot of good times and this website will actually work. So we're going to record that today. It's going to be really, very, very cool. So we got your PS3. You have it updated 4.82. You got the thumb drive. It's in the rightmost port, right port of your PS3. And then you have this mini web with HD docs with all these files here. And the, and the hex files on the root of your thumb drive. So what you want to do is go ahead, run the mini web. Here it is. And what I'm going to do now in this next portion of the video tutorial is go to the PS3 and record that and show you how that works. It's going to be a lot of good times. Let's do this. All right, so let's do this. So what I'm doing right now is we're on the PS3. We're going to go to the web browser. And in this process, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to clear the home page. So you press triangle, go to your home page. Uh, I'm already using a blank page. And then what we're going to do is exit the web browser and then come back to it. So make sure you do that. It helps make sure you have a clean slate. So we're gonna go back to the web browser and here we have a clear page. Then what you wanna do is press start and go ahead and type in your IP address uh, of the web server and then make sure you add the port. So here we do the colon and then the 8000 and then after that's done, press start and then it will go to that web page. 
If you want to, you can also press select. You can add it as a bookmark, which I'm showing right here, and then you're good to go. So here we're back at this directory. I know I'm a NOR, so let's go ahead and click on the index underscore NOR.html. You get this web page, just like we saw earlier on the computer. Now you read this warning messages if you want as a reminder, and then go ahead and click this button here for initializing. Once that's done, click on the patch. Now I did edit this video a little bit to help save some time. So this took me about a few minutes here, uh, like five minutes or so, but then you get this eventually this green NOR flash memory patch operation completed, which is great. And then what you wanna do is exit this and we're gonna go ahead and re shut down the PS3 and turn it back on. Okay, so once we're back, now we're good to go. We can go ahead and install that custom firmware file straight up. So I'm using this special file 4.81.2 that's been modified. So I can install it from the 4.82 environment. So go to system update, update via storage media. There it is, press okay, and go ahead and follow the prompt. So if you're already familiar with installing firmware previously, then you should be very familiar with this, with this process as well. It's the same process actually. So what I've done to help save some time is I've sort of edited the video and took out some of the longer loading installation times, but the process overall is the same. So I do show the start and the end of it. Okay, cool. So we got the rebug screen here. And then what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and install the new package files. But here I just show you real quick, you know, here we got the new debug settings, which is great here. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's go to package manager install package file system and go ahead and install rebuild toolbox the latest version Which is 202.12 that comes with that particular rebug firmware and then in here uh, I'm just going to show you real quick that my system is Kex and Kex under system information That's good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exit this uh, Pretty soon here and then I want to show you some other settings that I like to do under rebug uh, toolbox so here I change the mode and then I go ahead and play around with these other modes here and just change them all. It doesn't hurt. And then eventually once that's all good, we're going to go back to the main XMB screen. And then after that, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You can follow my other tutorials, how to convert your system from Kex to Dex. You can go to store.brology.com, I believe, and you download a whole bunch of package files and install whatever package files that you want to your heart's content and just be a boss, really. So uh, hopefully you got this far. And if you did, by all means, I want to say congratulations. Thank you for joining the PS3 Exploit Club. So that's today's video modding tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.